The 49th book that I read in 2024 is The Love of the Last Tycoon by F. Scott Fitzgerald. This is the novel that he was working on when he died. It is unfinished. In the back of it, there are several notes that the editor has left that Fitzgerald had when, when he died. But it definitely reads like an incomplete novel. I have to admit, I did not enjoy this book. I don't think that that's a statement of F. Scott Fitzgerald at all. In 1989, I read the story. I was a junior in high school, and we read as a class Winter Dreams by F. Scott Fitzgerald, and that turned me on to him for the next four or five years. I was really into Fitzgerald, and I pretty much read everything there was to read. Tender as the Night, The Great Gatsby, um, all not all of his short stories, but just about all of his of his short stories, and I was really into him. And then I got to college, and you know, F. Scott Fitzgerald was not in at all. Even Gatsby wasn't in when I was in in college in the early '90s. Um, and Gatsby obviously has made a return to um, prominence, but the rest of Fitzgerald really hasn't. And I do I do think that nobody writes about hmm, love. I don't want to say nobody writes about love as well as Fitzgerald, but nobody writes about fleeting love between two people, I think, as well as Fitzgerald. The middle of this book has that, and it was so good to read in, in the middle. He articulates the love between um, the main character and, and his, his would-be girlfriend um, very, very well. But the, but the bookends of, of this novel are about the film industry and it's just not very interesting and it also doesn't hold up very well because the film industry is nothing like it was in the, in the 40s of course. Um, I know that Fitzgerald and I know that Faulkner and, and probably many many other uh, writers as well wrote for movies because it was a quick buck that they that they could make um, and this novel must be about Fitzgerald's experiences in, in Hollywood um, but just not very interesting at all on, on either side of, of, of the love story. And I have to believe that had he lived to, to finish this book, he would have probably woven the love story in with the Hollywood uh, parts of the book. Right now they're very uh, compartmentalized. We've got the Hollywood, then we've got the love, then we've got the Hollywood again, and then it just kind of ends and you've got the notes at the end of the book. I'm sure that he would have improved it. Much of it reads as if it wasn't edited before. And I only say that because I know Fitzgerald's style really, really well, I, I feel, and some of this book just doesn't sound like him at, at all. So gotta give it a pass. Obviously, he didn't get to complete it, but it isn't a book that I need to return to um, again. So The Love of the Last Tycoon, which I'm pretty sure was called The Last Tycoon 30 years ago, and Matthew J. Bricoli changed the title, or maybe Fitzgerald had it in his notes, I'm sure that's it, that Fitzgerald had it in his notes that that's what he really wanted to call it. and so. The title is now The Love of the Last Tycoon. Um, again, not necessarily a book that I need to return to.